video. Hmm? Watching YouTube. You ready for the rest? Yeah. You gonna rip it? I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry it's Good morning guys We are headed to Village Creek To do a little mini cross race action can you tell them what race class you're going to be in? Beginner and Ace. Oh, here comes our Sonic. Yep. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I love how I got a short straw for my... Oh, wait, no, this is a tall straw. Your mom got the short straw having to deal with us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that just went over his head. Alright, so anyways, we're headed to Village Creek in Fort Worth, Texas. We live in Texarkana, so about a three hour drive. And then uh, we're going to go to Swan, practice what we got that we never practiced before with. Yep, BJ Burns from. MX University, I believe, is where it's from. Is what his uh, Instagram page is. So, anyways, we'll update you with some races, some little trip footage, and uh, hopefully, we get some trophies, bring home some hardware. That's the double he's been hitting and working on. Downside's a little bit lower, man. Right? Yep. You gonna take that outside to get you some speed? What? Then what? And then the So we're gonna clear this. I always take this wide outside. What are you supposed to be doing if you're taking that outside, though? Railing it. Which means? Going through it fast. Okay. And why would you rail it fast? So I can clear that. Yep. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. Now we just got to execute.
Looks like a Volkswagen Beetle to me, I used, to, I used to have a car, it's like, it was like something, 20, it was 2009, probably, 13 years ago, a car. Yeah, dang. We raced our first moto. We did the 50cc air cool on the Yamaha TTR 50. We did the wobbler the on the KT on, KTM 50. You got the shot and one. first place on our first moto. And then we even went into the beginner's class, which is a step up from the wobbler and almost got the whole shot and got, I think sixth or seventh place. Then we took our little break between all the races and we kind of we kind of got into a little funk. Uh, Hoyt got a, a little headache. You know, me, me and his mom were a little frustrated because, you know, it's three hours away and he just really wasn't ready to race and didn't really want to race. Um, after we thought about it and kind of seeing how his attitude was and stuff, we just decided that it was better for him not to race. Uh, we just didn't want it. He wasn't in the right headspace and you know, he could get hurt. And we just didn't want that to happen. We still had another set of motos to do. We decided to load up and we headed back to the house. Um, we came home, we got home like at one o'clock that night. And Sunday morning, uh, we talked about quitting and uh, not really that he, he necessarily quit because I, I think he did have a headache, but um, you know, I just think there was some other stuff going on that that uh, he wasn't just, he just, you know, sometimes it's a lot. You know, it's a lot on the kids. They're, he's still seven years old. Um, so Sunday, we kind of had a, a little talk and um, he, we, he got, you know, a little, uh, I'll just say it. He had, we had a little come to Jesus meeting and it worked, it worked out good, right? And, um, then, can you tell them what we ended up doing Sunday? Going to a practice at Swan Limit. Yep, so... Uh, B.J. Burns. Yep, so we met Mr. B.J. Burns down there at Swan, and uh, we actually got lucky. He had a pretty packed class that morning. And, um, but it was good because we did the evening class, and I was the only one. Yep, yeah, so Hoyt ended up getting about two or three hours of one-on-one -on -one, uh, practice with him, so... It actually worked out pretty good. The track was in rough condition, which uh, I'd rather him practice on a rough condition track. That way, when the track's nice and prepped, he'll do better. So, so we thank y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Peace out. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't